G'day there, podcaster. Oh, and welcome to another episode of Meet the Team. Uh, today we have the wonderful Andrew Zito. I've never used his full name like that before. Andy! I feel like I'm in trouble when you do that. Welcome. Um, people would be well familiar with Andy through um, the domination Which, of when we did the trivia on yeah. the show. Yes, the, the Andy, Andy off. Mm-hmm. So um, this man is the, the sm- like it's undisputed, the smartest member of the team. Yep. One of those guys who just retains knowledge, right, Andy? Like you don't seek out knowledge, but as you come across it, it is retained for a lifetime. Yeah, I reckon that's right. A really good memory. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so, what, like, what is the what's the role? What is your role on there? If, if you know, if you if you got a written warning, what would it say at the top? It would say Andy Zito, or if uh, you were handing out business cards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Senior digital producer. Senior digital Senior? producer. Senior, who's below you? Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> um, video, podcasts, and social. So Andy yeah. is the, the the man who uploads the podcast. Him yep. and, like Scudder and him, sort of Al Upert, but he's the one sort of clicking publish on it um, every day. So if you're listening to this, you have him to thank. If he doesn't like this episode, he might even choose not to publish it. Yeah, can I say as well the audio um, quality, whether that's you or Scudder, I don't know, but the the the, the stand of the podcast, I believe, has lifted. Yeah, I would agree. It yeah. was it was crispy when we first started. I don't know mm. if we were like we. I think we talked about. We didn't you know, know if there was, it was a, the mics or the compression. It was a whole. There was something things. going on there. And, but you uh, also do all the videos as well. Well, this yes. is it. Mm-hmm. The social media, you know, the posts on the, the Instagram and that sort of stuff. Um, that's Andy's work. He's cutting all that stuff up. But that's your job, but we're here to get to know the man. Oh, yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, now, the one thing we know about you is that in a past life, you were a school teacher. Yes. Which which you can still, it still comes through sometimes because if we're going to shoot a video outside, you go, you put sunscreen on and goes, guys, who wants to put sunscreen on? Which <laughs> yeah. is no a real... It's no play. <laughs> yeah, it's a real teacher mm. energy. So what year level did you teach? I taught um, from primary to year 12 uh-huh. music and drama. Wow. Yeah. So I taught in high schools, I taught in primary schools, I taught in private and public systems. So were you just, a sub or you jumped around? No, I, was, I just worked at different schools yeah, over right. the years. I've worked full time in a school for a while. Yep. I worked sort of across a few schools doing. So I taught singing, I taught guitar, I taught drum kit, um, and then sort of VCE music. And so there was there was definitely a morning, Mister Zeta, for yeah. a while there. I did one year in a primary school. Yeah, that was enough. And then what, what were you <laughs> at the high school? Were you still Mister Zeta, or were you just yeah. like Eddie? It depended on the school. There were schools. I taught at a couple of private schools where I was very much Mister Zeta. Um, it wasn't like a super formal kind yeah. of vibe generally, but that was just how it worked. Yeah. And um, But then I worked full-time at a public school and it was just much more kind of laid back. So like, oh, Zeta! Yeah, like yeah. It's, it's a real last a name bit. that you say as the first thing yeah. as well. Like Stapleton is not a fun name. It's about Stapleton. Like it's, mm. But like Zito, we, can just, we just call you Zito. Yeah. Really. And, and Zito, so growing up, did you always want to be... A musician, a teacher, a digital producer. <laughs> like, what did you want to be? So I have been a professional musician since I was young. Yeah. And that has kind of pointed me to every job that I have right. ended up with. So I was working as a musician and I worked in the theatre for a long time um, as either a musician or a performer. Um, and then that got me into having my own studio, which leads you to figuring out all that stuff. So that's why I can do the audio stuff in the podcast and all that. Um, That led to figuring out all the editing side of video and then um, just sort of fell into teaching and then one day decided I didn't want to teach anymore and re-qualified, got a communications, a master's in communications. Oh, so you went back and studied. Um, Yes, and uh, because it was like qualify or... And stay being a teacher or do something different. So yeah. I decided to do something different. Mm-hmm. And ended up in marketing at for a big guitar company and Yeah. Now here. Wow. Now Zeno, this is so obviously you mentioned a bit of musical theatre background there. Mm. Uh, you may have heard the last Meet the Team episode with producer Tom. <laughs> yes. uh, we were saying if there was ever to be a show musical, he mm. would um, get the role of the leading role of me. That makes sense. Um, who would you who would you like to play? Obviously you've got a lot of mm. range, you you can sing, you can act, you can dance. Would you would you like to play Ben? Would you like to play Hang Belle? On, so who the would, musical who... cast is only like <laughs> no, Andy can't play this himself. Is, no, this fictional. <laughs> no, but this fictional mm. in 
this fictional musical, it's the more talented, wider team playing us in musical form. Right. I, what in I, my head. What, how I envision it is everybody mm. that we work with directly on a day-to-day basis is in the play, uh-huh. but no one's allowed to play themselves. You can't play yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so like I could play Andy. Yep. Oh, that's funny. Uh, okay. Yep. That's so yeah. literally anyone on yeah. the te- on the on the team okay. can play. There, anybody. And there could be <laughs> you could have the role of someone else you work with if you yeah. think you're better suited to that. Yeah. In, so in, Tom in is playing Liam. Who do you want to play? Honestly, I think. Given that you've just widened it out, I yeah. think I'd probably choose Brody because I am Brody, a method actor yes. and I just yeah. want to see what that feels like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Try, try that yeah. on for yeah. size. Brody uh, will He's be featured. He's got to talk about footy and yeah. be like, yeah, beers. <laughs> <laughs> Brody is he's probably arguably the biggest fan of footy. I mean, mm. he, Ben, you love your oh, footy, he but would, he, he knows, he knows yeah. his stuff. I, maybe, I, maybe I friends looked, with footy yeah. players. I look to like, Brody when I'm like, if I'm unsure about a footy thing, I look to Brody for guidance. Perhaps perhaps we could, we know in the Andy off, Andy Zito is the superior Andy knowledge-wise, but Perhaps when we do the meet the team episode with Brody, we could do like a footy quiz between you two. He guys. would win that. He yeah. Would, yeah, he would win that. Yeah. It's more for entertainment purposes. Yeah. Although it did rattle him when Bill said I was more manly than him. Yeah. <laughs> that rattled him. <laughs> Did. Yeah. He honestly took that to In the heart. kitchen, he, I think him and you were talking about it in the kitchen. He was like, yeah. what do you mean by that? Though? Yeah. Like, he was a bit, like, he was a bit well, unsure. Manly. But he's he's a modern man. You're more of an old-fashioned man. You think so? Yeah, he's he's he wears like Crocs, but in a cool way. Yeah. yeah. Okay, whereas, yeah. Whereas I just dress like an old man. He's also yeah. a degenerate. I've known him for a long time, <laughs> and he's a very troubling character, and yeah. that will become clearer as he gets to me. <laughs> he does well, well, say it, some things that yeah. I go, wow, yeah, you've got to yeah. be careful. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And and look, we're more on Brody in the Meet the Brody episode, but let's focus on you here. Uh, this is your episode. This is your time, man. You really want to be he's using this this way? He's even alphaing all of us um, right now. He's not even here. Uh, I mean, what were, the, what were the other questions we asked Tom uh, the other day? Uh, we asked him to, oh, yeah, do you have, do you have a favourite team member? Anyone that you can't oh, stand? Yeah. Oh, I can't stand. No, uh, no. I'm pretty. I'm not really a can't stand kind of guy. Yeah, that's fine. I'm pretty um, open. No one's rubbed I you up think, the wrong way. Um, no, I think you have to pick a favourite though, just yeah, for, the sake of, yeah, for the sake of the podcast. Okay. Uh, all right, so let's just uh, do the maths here. I think probably ultimately my favourite team member would have to be Ben because we both sort of got country stock in yeah. our roots yep. and um, so I identify yep. with that I think I and, like that yeah. also He's... just great beard yeah. you know, <laughs> colleagues again I I, I would I, say I, Ben's beard game is on you your would game. outrival my beard game but I appreciate the beard nod ben, ben, Ben's got good traits from everyone in yeah. the team just lesser like he's got a beard but it's a little beard he knows a lot about footy but not as much as Brody um, well Andy it's been it's been a pleasure yeah. Yeah, um, thanks, it's, thanks for all your work on the show and on the podcast specifically as well um, and uh, yeah yeah thanks for thanks oh, for meeting the team and Anything we can do better? Oh, yeah. I was going to ask that, but I was like, oh, I won't come back to it. We can do better. Yeah, Yeah, what can we do to make Mm. your job better, like, for you? Uh, I think we've got it down now. We put that locked system in place. That works a treat. Locking in the podcast. Do you know about this? The podcast uh, doc? Yeah, so I have the podcast Mm -hmm. doc, and sometimes it wasn't quite ready, and then Andy would be like, can you finish it? But now I have a little thing where I I type status locked, and I highlight it green. I like that. That's really helpful, because one day it wasn't locked, and I built... So to give you some... Look, let's just backtrack for a second, (laughs) because, you know... Scarta edits all the audio Mm -hmm. in the podcast, and then he gives me all the files... And I build the podcast yep. from yeah. scratch. In, and upload it. And upload and it and all that. Yeah. And so if that document's not locked, we learned one and Friday. See, the document comes before Scudder. The document yes. comes from Liam. The so this is the thing. Mm. So we ha- I have a little document here <laughs> yeah. and I type as the show's going. I sort of type in edit notes. I've, I've been known to cut callers out in the past if yeah. you don't cut the mustard. <laughs> yes. I'll say cut Belinda, There'll she be sucked or whatever. Go, like, I swear something went to her. Yeah, I'll never go, heard er, again. Er, get out a little earlier there, Too whatever. Too much bell, question yeah. mark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So shave down on bell a little bit. <laughs> and uh, and then I yeah, sort of like put it in a little order. I write a little bio because I was asked to do that many years ago. I'm sort of sick of the bio thing now, but do you think anyone actually reads the no, bio? No, we're supposed to do the bio. I, I like the bio. It's good the bio. best practice. Okay, fine. I'm happy to keep doing the bio. And then, yeah, right. All right, status Locked. And so, if that's locked, I know the order the podcast. It's very much like in. a good band. And so, hang on. Just going go back to the to the point of the story is: did one go up once? One and it Friday, wasn't I was too excited. The show was done. I saw the order was there. Yep. Mm-hmm. We hadn't established the lock <laughs> system yet. I built the podcast. Later on that day, I got a message going: the podcast's completely out of order yeah. with the document. And I was like, Oh, is it? Okay. I just went off the document. Yeah. I went and looked and went, Yeah, no, nah, that got changed. Yeah, right. So yes. this is why we so have. How are you to know? Because exactly. Well, I wasn't. But but I Rule. admittedly I think it was a Friday, so I started building the podcast about eight yeah. forty. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Here's the thing. Uh, now we've got our workplace practices, and it's 
you know, Zito, myself, and Scudder, when it comes to the podcast, yeah, smooth. We're a lot like Jordan, Pippin, and Rodman. <laughs> yeah. Like it's 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 you're pretty- a lot like Mike Perso. Hmm. Smooth. Ah, okay. yep. Whoa! <laughs> Deep cut for the smooth heads. Yep. Yeah. So if you're a fan of Smooth <laughs> FM in Melbourne, uh, mm. Mike Pesso does the uh, breakfast show. Yes, and that's yep. that's quite good what you did there. Yeah. yeah. I think mine was like a broader sort of, you know, <laughs> you know, broad strokes Chicago Bulls. Anyway, yeah. From you, but that's years ago, keeping, yeah. I'm keeping more within the company. That's cool. Right. That's you know? cool. Yeah. Well, yeah. thanks for thanks for joining us, Andy. Pleasure. Thanks for having me.